I think she's really interesting because she brings the female gaze, the first female to write about the Salem witch trials, right? We, we hear stories from the male perspective about these crazy bad women who are doing these witchy things. And now we have a book from the female perspective. What was this really about? And what is being a witch about? Is that about power? And is that what scared all the men back in Salem? That they didn't want women to have power, right? When we look into the history of the Salem witch trials, we know that there are many possibilities for why those women were chosen. Among them, several of them were landowning women. And back in the day, women weren't supposed to own land, only men were. But if your husband died and you had no male kids, you inherited it. And the funny thing about Salem was the men who sat on the council in the city who decided if you were a witch or not, when you were convicted and your land went up for a public sale, the men on the council got to buy any public sale land for a shot, half price. Just by accident, they were finding women guilty who happened to own land that was rather lovely for them to buy. So she's looking at this period through this email gaze, which we don't teach in schools.